Uh, the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Uh, made it hard for ourselves a little bit, but we come away with a comfortable win. Yeah, I mean, in the first half, we wasn't really up there. I think the first 10 minutes we've done pretty well, uh, but then kind of started to come back into it. I, I actually felt the penalty wasn't even a penalty. I mean, it's a fair bar from um, Arnie, but referee gave it. And I was sitting back on my chair, I was like, right, if they score on that, it's going to be probably them sitting back, back against the wall, yeah. yeah. So like 10 men behind the ball, we're trying to do, like open them up. But I'm glad he saved the Fabianski, but I just feel bad for him. Like, he didn't keep, keep looking shit at, at the end. Um, but I mean, we've got to about some of the players today. Yes. Dean Garner when he come on, Lucas Perez yes. when he come yes. on, Antonio filling in at right back. Felipe Anderson looks like a different man than I see two, three weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, when he first came to West Ham, um, you know, against Liverpool, he wasn't really up there, and then we didn't really see much of him. Um, so then after that, like, I think a month or two into the season, we're seeing what we've um, actually like signed for, like for 41 million. And he's, I mean, against Newcastle last week, well, Saturday, sorry, different player, different class, and he's now showing why we signed him. And, you know, hopefully he can, like, push on and be at least our star player for the end of, like, coming towards the end of the season. I know um, Arnie came off, and uh, I think he pulled a hamstring, but when Freddie D. Connor came on, oh, mate, different, different mate. Pace, didn't he? Well, I mean, he, um, he did open the back four up a little bit as well. And then when Perez came on, I thought, same as, as, as the other fella said, you know, why are we not bringing Adam Carroll on? Well, the but thing is, when he came on, I, I was just saying, uh, Marshy there, we've got yeah. so many options now, different players. Lucas Perez, who gives you a little bit of pace. Dean Garner, who's that pacey winger. Andy Carroll, that can just, they're just completely different players than what we've got already. Do you know what? I think it's actually about time we had, we had a big squad. I mean, because every single season, different transfer windows, we're not having a big squad and we have always having a thin line of squads coming in, trying to help us out a little bit. So it's about time we actually, this season, pretty good coming in, bring some like what, 10, 10 new players in the summer. Yeah. So I think come like during the January window, you know, because we've got Nashbury coming to uh, West Ham to train. I know people won't give him a chance, but you know what, if he can actually prove himself to be fit, we've got a free transfer on our hand again. And then all we got to do now is just get um, a right back. Someone to also help out um, in left back for Zabaleta because he's, he's not going to play in week in, week out uh, during December. So if he gets injured, we've got someone else to cover him. Yeah. But I think after uh, Palace, we, we really do need to push on. And, uh, and that's actually sight from Palace as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers, bud. Thank you.